so hi guys and welcome back to my channel you probably have seen this makeup and this hair and this crazy hairstyle before but that's uh, a separate video that I'm about to make with my sisters of course why did you stand up I'm coming you want to show us how fun you are B? <coughs> uh. oh you people should don't look you know don't, don't look the bomb bomb please she's taken don't be looking at the bomb bomb anyway so I remember an experience that it's okay. Mm. I remember the ex we're home. We are home. We're home. Mm. in front of me. Yeah, it can be. It can be. So we well, yeah, we're home. So I remember an experience um, that happened to all of us, if not. Yeah, uh, yeah, Why are you even climbing like this? Are you Tarzan? <laughs> look, look, look at. Look. Mm -hmm. Then, then what? Then what? Oh, yeah, sit down. I see. I see. She touch the chest. The lapel. Yeah, I see. Good girl. Yeah, la pon ton sac. So yeah, I was telling you the story about how my dad was ill. Um. <coughs> Um, he was diagnosed pretty late. You know, he was going to the hospital very often because his eyesight kept deteriorating. But for some reason, I don't know, they couldn't figure out what exactly was wrong and they kept prescribing new glasses to him and whatever. So there's one fateful night, something happened that is still in our brains till today. Do you want to go from there? Huh. What what do you remember from that night? Oh, we call <laughs> we'll call her back. So I remember mommy coming in our bedrooms. Yeah. Waking us up. Oh. Mm -hmm. And seeing um you can, girls wake up, girls wake up, girls wake up. <laughs> that is sick, that is sick. You can should all come out, should all come out of my so we jumped. I was scared because me. I remember. Yeah, I don't think we have experienced that before. I was, I was. I don't know. I was just moving so slow on the hallways because I didn't know what to see, what to expect, how to react, how to even help. So I was just walking so slow, but then I got a courage. You know, yeah. I had to. Then I I went to the room, my mom's bedroom. What I was. Or what I saw. Hey guys, I don't want to laugh really. I don't want to smile, but it's it's a way for me not to really be too emotional. That's what I smile. Yeah. So I I saw my dad on his bed convulsing. That's the word, right? Convulsing. Yeah, having a seizure. This yeah, is what they know you hear as right this. <sighs> like a severe seizure and while he's doing that that, that foamy white thing i don't know i don't know how it's called i know the name but it's skipping my mind but yeah yeah was coming out and she rushed to the to the kitchen to grab a spoon that she oh my god she i don't know i don't even know how she did because you have to put you have to be very careful so they don't bite you and so they don't also hurt themselves in the process so i remember her struggling with a spoon putting put it, put it, the spoon in his mouth so he doesn't bite himself too and bite her because bite his no. tongue. yeah bite his tongue because they they can't control what's happening in their mouth during a seizure and if he bites his tongue is hard because it, also he had uh, diabetes so it's like they don't want them to hurt themselves because with that kind of illness it takes forever to heal i think it, it, it can relate to something different something terrible like some people that are not diabetic they will tell you to put something to prevent them from biting you that was before now it has changed no even people that have like epilepsy they say to put the, the spoon, spoon, whatever, in the so, they, so they, they don't bite. They don't bite. Them. Okay. And I feel like if anytime you're having a seizure, that's yeah. what you do. You just put a spoon there so you don't. I know something has changed. I don't know exactly what, 
but something has changed. Some research people found it not to be um, appropriate anymore. No, 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 no. Don't touch my camera stand, please. Go with Auntie Blessing. Cartoon people. Look at them. So they found it not to be appropriate anymore. I don't know why. I might be wrong, but we'll, we'll look that up after the video. We'll look and that up. And my mom was, was calling his name. Tell Phil, tell Phil. No, she was just calling his name. For him to stay alert. Can you hear me? Yeah, for him to stay, yeah. Can you hear me? Oh, my God. And then uh, my mom... I think you should take over from because yeah, it was when she asked you to go do something called well, for I, help. I I don't remember much. Look at what this girl is doing to the TV. Yeah, I don't remember much from that night. Like prior, I remember her coming into our room and calling us like, hey, 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 that is sick, that is sick, come out. I don't even remember from the hallway to my room or from the, my room to the. I know she was trying to call. I could remember vividly. She was trying to call him. And I felt he wanted to answer, but he couldn't. He couldn't. He couldn't. Oh my God! But then it was I four think she of was us telling him, and say mommy. something, say something. He just couldn't. Yeah. So it was four of us. We have an older sister who's not here. That would be one. Uh, <laughs> don't. It's okay. He's in a better place right now. Is he? So he is. He is for sure. So. Uh, he, my dad is a big guy. He was like six foot some. He is a big. He is tall. Or he was. I don't know why I'm saying he is like he's still around. He was big and tall. So here we are. Maybe I was 15 or 10 at the time. He was probably what 12. I don't even know how old we were, but we were young. When I'm when I'm saying young, young, we were so young. So. We couldn't obviously lift him up. You know what we had to do? We had to wrap him up in a blanket like a burrito. That was smart because that's that's a technique. Um, the most people use here in care home if they're heavy. Yeah, and at that time we didn't even have that training. Yeah. I don't know who you thought mommy. My phone, huh? I don't know who thought mommy who thought her had to do that. But so we put him in, put him in a bl blanket. And now each of us were like holding a corner. Yo, I still remember how heavy my dad was. <laughs> I still remember how heavy he was. But we had to do what we had to do to get him to the hospital. And my mom wasn't even driving at the time. There was daddy's car, but it was parked in the house. She wasn't driving. So there's no way she could have taken, taken him to the hospital. But our other option was a cab. So she sent me out. Chichi, I remember it was like 4 a.m. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, mind you, we were living in a place that wasn't very dangerous at the yeah. time. But still, who sends an 8-year-old or 10-year-old yeah. outside to grab a cab? To call for help. To call for help. At that time, man, you don't even look the age. Mommy, you she, don't even, she guys don't mind. Uh, that was my name. Guy! What? Yeah. Chichi, there are situations that happen in your life that gives you no other option than to be strong. Honestly, yeah. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Me and this, you, both of us, we cannot climb three. Once we see the snake, <laughs> you will find yourself. <laughs> you will find yourself there. Let them just send the lion. Ah. That day, that's when you will know that inside, inside your body, Jackie Chan, they inside. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I went outside. I was like trying to stop every car that I saw was passing by. And God, God has a way of doing what he does. A car stopped, probably like, you know, there's a young kid in help screaming or whatever. And the guy was a doctor. I don't even remember what I said to him. To him. They like, come and help me, oh my daddy is sick. I don't know what I said, but he said he was a medical doctor. And he took mom and dad to the hospital. And we were now at home. We're like shocked, like whoa. What just happened? What just happened? And you know, now talking about it, I feel like our life has been traumatized though. <laughs> in a way. In a way. Because you witnessed 
daddy go through it, join it with the, the, the Togo incident, it's like, why are you people attacking us now? Yeah. We're just kids trying to survive up in here. What is it? What is it? And, I don't know. And, okay. okay, this is just what we saw. Now, can you guys imagine what mom saw yeah. all this while? Do you, you guys remember even when they went to France for the major, major surgeries? Yeah. Surgery. And, um, he almost passed. Yeah. 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 That's, That's my that, daddy's head. Yeah. My daddy's head was open seven times. Yeah. He cut open. He cut him and opened To remove the, the tumor. And yet, they couldn't even remove it they all remove because it. apparently it was in a very sensitive area. Yeah. So they had to close the head back, wait for it to grow they again. They were trying to um, strain the liquid oh. that the, 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 the stupid tumor, tumor yeah. was bringing out in his brain. You know, it was just in his brain sitting there. So oh my God. They, they, that, with tubes, they had to know, open his head, put some tubes and then drain it. They had to literally drain his brain. The liquid out of his brain. Of his brain. <laughs> you know what she meant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So we laugh about it now because it's like we we're relieving it. I know. But back in those days, it wasn't. It was. It's still not funny. But how else do you cope with it? How how else do you build your strength? All the time. You know that's why people see us and they see the drive that we have. They see the passion we have. They see how uh, um, we get things but done. They don't know our story. Man, it, 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 yeah. it comes from where we're coming from. They don't know our story. You know, they envy us from afar. They admire us from afar, but they don't. They don't know our story. There's a lot to tell. Not even just admire. They think we are proud. No, we're not talking about people that are bigger. And them. that's the thing. They don't know we are just tough because of where we're coming from. Where we come from? Oh. Yeah. It's not sure, because it has to do with pride. Not because we're pride. Oh, if you know me, you will not be the sweetest person ever. Oh, yeah. What? If you know me, you say, oh. I'm, I'm, de I'm a devil. Oh, my God. That's you know sweet me, as you know, funny. I look like one. Dove. Really. Yeah. Dove. Come. Dove. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. So, the, the, the doctor now came into the house. Helped mommy load daddy in the car like it was a bad We were all helping. We, we were. It was pushing yes. our hands. <laughs> little hands. Small but mighty. <laughs> Those little hands at least got him in oh, the yeah. car. And thank God at that time he got to the hospital on time. Yeah. On time before anything else could go south. Then they treated him and then they came back home. So they are winning. No, I win I win What do you remember from that night? Because you were the tiniest. No, you... I remember the one at Yes. Yeah. So oh, that was life, guys. I, I'm just I'm just remembering. The then you guys want to call Malik's brother. Because one of them had a no or something. That one, of, one of our neighbors was a taxi yeah, yeah. driver. They I mean, the bed too. Yeah. And I think we, we mastered the technique of putting that in Yeah, we did. Head. That thing happened so many times. Yeah. Can you recall how many times it happened? Yeah, it was not a habit. Oh, pew. We, yeah. we now knew what to do. <laughs> it's like daddy's yeah. having a seizure. Yeah. Bam. We're on it now. So young. So early. Yeah. God was yet preparing us. I know. Dad, I'm just remembering when dad would go, he would travel and then we know that he's coming in the night, we will not sleep. I know, we're waiting for cacahuete. We will not sleep. <laughs> and the bags and shoes, yes. options that dad would buy for us. Yes. Uh, God. When he was going to Togo. Yeah. We didn't enjoy that guy. We didn't. We didn't. I God took him back too soon. Oh, it was was a life for my for my wedding. I know. 
I, I remember mine too. I missed him. I don't cry that morning. Oh, like, where's dad, man? Where is he? Where is he? I told a friend of mine. <laughs> you better cherish your dad now that you still have him. <laughs> My your dad is also. alive here. You choose when you want to talk to your dad. You choose when you want. You just want to check up on him. I said, think, think twice. Think twice. Go ask people who 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 are fatherless. Maybe he, he, you understand some. I I know. Like even when, even if your dad is not the best, at least you get to see him. You get to call him. You know, you get to talk to him once in a while. Sometimes say, we just want to play the fool and just go say, Daddy, please. I just want to lay on that chest. Please. That is the grace of God. Let's <laughs> like to be married and for your parents, both parents, to see be to witness it. Witness every stage of your life from when you grow up from when you get married you start having kids and yeah you grow old with your wife it's the grace and our dad was young he died at 47 yeah, yeah. too young too 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 young yeah 47 mm. too young if he was alive he would have been what 60 something he's a little <laughs> daddy, daddy. <laughs> he's a he's a bit younger than uncle Bo. <laughs> Daddy, oh my god. You know, they have the same age. Yeah, Uncle like Bo, I, yeah. I think Daddy was younger by months. So he would have been yeah. 61 or 62 this year. 60. Yeah. No, Uncle Bo is already 60. Yeah. Um, but yeah, <laughs> this is just a quick video to encourage anyone going yeah. through the same situation. You might think that. Um, you know life throws only but lemons at you but don't worry god god is using those experiences to strengthen you so you can also strengthen somebody else god is using these experiences to make you stronger to build that strong person in you um just be strong just just be strong be encouraged no matter what you're going through and cherish the parents, your parents, if Honestly, you still have them. Cherish them. They suck sometimes, but you know what they say: you love the dog. You love the dog with its fleas. <laughs> um, they can't be perfect. That's what the Bible said. It's two ways. Old. <clears throat> you say, parents, honor your children, and uh, uh, children, honor your parents. <laughs> And parents don't irritate your children, but they, those are parents. They will just read one side. <laughs> <laughs> they will just read one side, um, you know, ignoring the fact that they could potentially irritate hurt us too. You know, um, with love and kindness, let's just make sure we make our discontent known to them. You have something else to say? No, nope, you've said it all. Alright, thank you guys for watching us. Until next time, we'll see y'all later. Peace.